All right, Y Golfers, as promised, this is the second video for people that are interested in dynamic control. All right, so you're, you're, your swing's pretty good already, and you're just trying to figure out how to max out and get those last five to ten yards. So a lot of it's going to do with your setup because you already swing pretty good and use the ground really well, so you sequence pretty well. And now it's a case of where am I going to hit it on the face. So I'm going to come in really close to show you this, but here's your driver club face, all right? So on your driver club face, you can hit it out the heel, in the middle of the face, or on the toe. Now when the club's swinging, but I'm going to assume we're swinging 100 miles an hour, if you hit it out the heel, not only will the ball fade, this, the heel of the club is actually moving slower than the middle of the face, and it's also moving a lot slower than on the outside, the toe. The toe is moving the fastest, but there's the least amount of mass out on the toe. So where do you want to hit it on the face, and why do you want to hit it there? You want to hit it right up here, okay? You want to hit it high and on the toe, just to the right of the center of the face. Why do you want to do that? Because that part of the club is moving the fastest. And if you hit it on that part of the club, I'm going to try and show you from this angle, when you hit the ball, okay, there's this really dope thing called vertical gear effect, all these crazy start scientists and track man owners have figured out that if you hit it right here on the face, what actually happens at the point of contact is that the face leans back and the ball launches with very low spin. Okay, so you hit like high knuckleballs. It almost feels like you're hitting it thin. It's like a hollow hit, but it's super pimped out and it goes really far. All right? Now, the opposite of that is if you hit it low on the face, that would be the worst. Because what will happen is if you hit it low on the face, the face will actually lean down. So you'll deal off the club and launch it low, and if you look at that Pro V logo, it's tilting up, so that means the ball is going to get way more spin. So low launch and high spin is the worst, and high launch, again, that thing's going to tilt back, is going to give you high launch and low spin, the high knuckler, the one your friends are envious of. Okay? So it's kind of hard, it's kind of hard to do all the time, but when you do it, it's crazy good. So, how are you going to do that and what do your hands need to be doing through impact so you can max vertical gear effect? There's a bunch of videos on YouTube about vertical gear effect. It's kind of cool. I think it's super cool if you're, into, if you're a golf nerd like myself. But ultimately, your hands have to be going up through the hit. If your hands are going down through the hit, look what happens to the face. It leans back and you can hit it all over the place. So, kind of key ideas here and then when you do it, you know, don't tell your friends because that would be super cool that you can do it and they can't. But I would suggest that the ball has to be further forward. You got to aim a little to the right. And through the hit, your hands have to feel like they're going up like that. All right? So give that a whirl. Vertical gear effect for dynamic impact. Good luck. Up through the hit like that. High launch, low spin. Hit us up. Good luck.